Hi, welcome back to Scrapwood Andy's Workshop. Uh, right, next project. Uh, a taxi driver named Paul, he wants a, a finial for the top of his um, pigeon coop or dove coop, whichever it is. Uh, he wants it turned on the lead. Um, he wants it about nine inches long and about four inches in diameter. So what I've got, I have got a old door lining I found. Um, it's a newish one. Yes, it's got paint on, it's had hinges already on it and everything, but uh, we're going to cut it up into sections uh, to the required measurements. Glue it all together so we can form a cube shape and then we can uh, turn it on the lathe. So, let's get started. Yeah, right, I'm just checking that uh, there's no screws or nails left in them holes. It looked like there was some at, but uh, I don't think there was. So we shall carry on now and do this last one. Right, we'll set how much we want it on. So, say hundred and fifteen. Hundred and fifteen. Just square it up. Properly. Right, we'll run them through again. Oh, that's them ripped down size. Gives me some more little bits of scrap wood there. We'll save that because you never know where it might come in useful. Right, we'll get this away and we'll get the planer out and we'll start planing it down to size. Right, we've got the planer set up. Um, what I've noticed there's a slight 
bow on the wood so always do that first get that planes flat on all of them before we put it through the thicknesser so actually getting plugged in can't do that without power Right, as you can see, I've already mounted it to the lathe. I've had to do quite a bit of work so I can get it on the lathe because it's an old uh, Black & Decker lathe. So I had to make a makeshift uh, fence here with some wood so I could just get it down so it would fit on the lathe. So I managed to get it to the size I need. Uh, I've just marked it out where I've got to start cutting so that's what we're going to do next shaping it try it I've got no wood turning uh, lathe tools I just use hand chisels so we will see how we go with it Right, let's get it down a bit.
Right, as you can see, we're about almost sanding it down to where I wanted it to go. Just a bit more to do. Just try and get rid of some of the, the old nail holes and screw holes, what was there. But uh, apart from that, it's about there. So it's about this length he wanted, nine inches, yep, yep, spot on there enough, yep, about sixteenth out there, so it's about four inches thickness there, so yep, so we'll just carry on with a bit more sanding, try and get it down again. Right, as you can see, we've took it off the lathe now. We've flattened the bottom a bit and round at the top, what I'm wondering now, I want to put my belt sander into the vise or we'll get the bottom flattened and the point more rounder. And then we'll just mark the centre of the circle there. So we could put uh, a screw in it, so we could screw it down to the top of his uh, duff coop. So we'll get on with that now. Hi, this stage I deleted some footage that I shunted up where I was going to sand the bottom of the finial. So what I did was put uh, my belt sander into the vise, just sanded the bottom and rounded off the top made it more into a uh, more into a point with a rounded end so that's what I did right that's it then there we are on finial not bad turned on an old black and decker lathe that used to be my granddad's. Uh, so all I've got to do is mark the centre now so he knows where to put the screw and uh, that's uh, jobs are gooded. So not too bad from an old door lining to a finial. So hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.